Uh, good afternoon, I'm uh, John Hilscher, I'm the uh, manager here for National Response Corporation here in the Mobile Area of Operation. Uh -huh. um, next to me I've got Jason DeSantis, National Response as well, out of the Florida area. Yeah, Jim DeWild, National Response, doing the uh, site management here at Dauphin Island. Lucas Owen with uh, National Response also. Right. We are here today to demonstrate a alternative recovery device that we've developed. So this device will collect tar balls. Um, the traditional skimmers and pumps were having trouble collecting and then also moving through the pumps the heavily weathered product and, and this device with the bag design uh, eliminates that need and collects the, the product in a bag form that can just be loaded separately without any use of pumps or traditional movement. We're going to be using it with a push boat to provide the main control of the skimmer as well as two additional tow boats at the end of the boom. It'll be a V configuration with tow boats out front towing the skimmer behind them in a V, channeling any recovered product towards, towards the uh, recovery device. So this unit can be operated at about one knot minimum. It takes about one knot to tip the device into position. And then it's functional anywhere up to about two, two and a half knots. But when it's not tipped and not in position, you can transit to another location at about seven knots or better. The entire platform is only 18 inches of draft, so it can be operated in very shallow water. And in this configuration, or even when it's being towed, it can be towed with relatively small boats that also only have a shallow draft. So the whole unit can be used inshore, near shore, and even in the right conditions in a, in a close to shore, offshore environment. What you're seeing here in this, this, this um, operation, we have two different bag types. And the different colors represent different mesh sizes. So we're experimenting now to come up with a proper spec that will allow the capture of the product, but also allow for the water to pass through. We go all stop so we can show it fall back to neutral. As the vessel stops and loses its forward, forward way, the counterweight design will automatically allow the bag to tip, go to this neutral position that's above the water line and retain any product that's been captured. These are the boom connectors. It's just a standard universal boom connector boom slide. You can connect any size boom to this. This is designed for 24, but 36, 42, even the small little 12 inch stuff will work, depending on what the application is, whether it's near shore, inshore, or offshore. These, this design allows for the boom to be connected and then placed into this slide. And as you encounter waves, the boom will float free and allow to maintain that seal at the water's edge. 